Hi, I'm Akanksha from EasyRx. Welcome back to EasyRx Presents Ask the Expert. Today we have our special guest, Principal Advisor of Social Impact, Shanti Randhan sir. Sir, in 1984 you left your lavish job in Canada. So, didn't you feel scared about that? No, actually not that. I uh, never feel that scared. If I feel that, I couldn't come. So, I have come taking a challenge challenge for the people of our society, challenge for our country. So that is my challenge and I have across through and I am now successful social activist in the world today. Right sir. What inspired you to dedicate your entire life to social service? Do you have any motivations like big gurus? Yes, of course I have. Once in a coffee shop in Canada, Toronto, I met one person who was talking so many things in different aspect and different uh, past, present and future issues. And uh, he told about my uh, living over there and very shortly, no doubt, I will be a rich man. But becoming a rich man is not the criteria, rather doing something for the people, it will be more richer. So immediately I got the inspiration of Vivekananda. That's why I thought that small inspiration of that gentleman to whom I met all on a sudden in Toronto, I decided to change my life. I came back to India and started my NGO Friend Society. Sir, could you provide a concrete example of the success of your effort in bringing positive change in the society? My success story I should not say and it should not be uttered from my mouth. People will tell or people will say what I have done in my life during the 35 years or more. So I don't like to project myself. Rather it would be projected by the people if they feel that I have done something for the success. Friend Society which have started in a very remote place and which after a long journey, it has reached to the United Nations ECOSOC special consultative status. Very few person in India who has the chance to speak or address at the United Nations General Council meeting, very few people from India got this privilege. I am one of the privileged person, I can tell you. Right, sir. Have you planned to retire? Or if not, then what are your thoughts on future activities? It will be my great privilege and pleasure too to share my long exp experience with a person and with a concern like EZRX who is also having such social impact activities. I am really, really grateful to them and I am very much interested to be with them so that we can club my experience and their ex expertise so that we can together do something for the people, for the society, for the country and at a greater cause we can do even after some times for the whole world. Sir, how do you assess the success of your effort to social impact and what were the challenges you faced when you were in abroad and how did you overcome them? Yes, it is a great challenge for me when I was abroad and especially when I was uh, joining and participating in United Nations any program. So it was a big aspect I have to discuss with them. And mainly I raised the question about the poverty, not only in India, but also throughout the world we are suffering. I am I feel it is my success that I am the person, very few persons, non-governmental person, who have got the privilege to address in the United Nations General Assembly. Sir, how do you make sure that the needs and voices of the underprivileged groups you work for are given attention and priority? Yes, uh, you know, uh, first of all, I can take one issue that is 
water and sanitation. That was very much problematic in rural India. Since I am working in the rural area and based in rural, uh, rural areas NGO, I am always thinking for the people, those who are very much required water and sanitation. You know, in the village of Bengal or village of Indian village, how many people are getting safe drinking water? How many get, uh, people getting safe sanitation system? It is almost nil during the time when I have started the work. So, I have given emphasis on this subject, this issue, addressing that water and sanitation can solve the health problem of rural India. So, water and at the same time sanitation which is correlated to health in India. So, rural women, rural children and village people or in general all India people, can you tell me that how many people are getting safe drinking water as of now, as of today? So, thinking on that issue, I was very much, very much concerned and I tried my best to sink so many safe drinking water system in the society throughout my working area that is in Bengal, that is in Andaman, that is in Nepal and that is so many other parts of the country. Thank you for sharing this insightful information, sir. It was a privilege to know. Can you share uh, your challenges in making aware people about sanitization? Like you started this work three decades back. So how it was challenging for you? No, it was a great challenge we have faced during the time when we have given the sanitation per home. Everyone would have their sanitation. But unfortunately, people were not uh, so much uh, interested. They took uh, one sanitation scheme, one project, but rarely they are used to use it. After that, when we tell them to understand that it is not the question of using toilets simply, but a question of your pride as a woman, you should use your privacy, you should use your sanitation system so that the people very gradually come in reality and come to know that yes, it is required. And the water and sanitation which is coming together in our project in mind, now after three decades, I am very happy to see and I am very happy to notice that Government of India has taken such a project for different water and sanitation type of project and even the individual home for individual households. So, which we have started 35 years back, now Government of India is giving emphasis today, but let before the never show, I thought I am really happy that my success now I am seeing through the government's project and I can say that my project is now undertaken by the government and my ultimate goal is accepted by all. That is my great privilege and success story in my life. So, uh, why are you so focused in sanitation and clean water and how do you think that, that this could impact the public health? Yes, you know, that uh, health is wealth. That is a common word or common phenomenon. Right, sir. So, based on health, if you are healthy, your children or child is healthy, healthy, the society will be healthy afterwards. So, considering these things, we have taken as a very serious issue and very serious project and we have undertaken this one mainly based on public health which has to be spread throughout the world, not only uh, India, but also world, world at, at large. So, we have taken for that reason this 
water sanitation project not simply water sanitation but a part of public health mm. uh, so mr karar what are your goals for advancing social change and how do you think you can help people in need globally what i have done for social change that is not only based in our country but also abroad what i have done to change the society in different ways like education health sanitation water provide of safe drinking water system and also the people they should how they will be uh, standing on their own feet that is a question of awareness we started with that awareness program through different kind of education i have done or we have done not within the india only bengal only but also globally like myanmar like nepal like africa sudan all those places i have started my program and i am successfully got their the achievement i think that this kind of message it is my work is not big one individual cannot do changes in the world today but what i have started the new generation they will learn something and i will be more than happy if they take some lesson and they can start in a new way according to their own thought process and ultimately the message will go to the society and society will be changed in a global manner so i strongly believe what i have done throughout the world in my small life that will be an example for the coming generation and upcoming change makers who will take the initiative with the theme of my work which i have not done as yet so my undone job will be continued with those people who are really going to change the society in details thank you mr karar it was a pleasure hosting you stay tuned with us for more inspiring insights thank you thank you so much for coming to with us and looking forward to see you soon thank you sir